What is up, YouTube? Bunny Films here with a brand new video, and we are back in Cruise Ship Tycoon. And in today's video, I have something fun planned. It's going to be a bit of an experiment, but we're going to be placing engines on so many decks, and we're going to see how fast this ship can go. But we're going to be filling this entire deck up, this one up, this one up, and then maybe this one as well, and then even the top decks if that will fit. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to go down really quickly. And there are a few decks already. We have nuclear reactors at the bottom of the ship. And then if we go up a deck, we have uh, some rooms and then some stairs as well. And then up here, more entertainment. And then you go up a deck and it's all empty. So we're going to actually transport some passengers on here. But we're going to see how fast this can go. And then even possibly in future videos, we can see how fast a ship with only nuclear reactors can go. Because I think that'd be a really fun experiment. But for starters, we're going to go under... I'm going to close the chat out right now. Uh, we're going to go under power. And then under here, you have to get fuel tanks. We also have the nuclear reactor. It is a bit expensive at $1 million each. So we might have to save up for that. But then we have engines, which are only 10,000 each, which are still a bit expensive. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to see how much will it cost to place all of these down. We're going to start off at the end over here. And we might have to destroy this wall. I'm not too certain. I mean... Oh, oh, look, we made free money. That's good. Okay, so we accidentally placed that down. Okay, so that's how that's going to go. Okay, okay, that's going to work. So let's go ahead and um, X really quickly. There we go. And we're going to just place a bunch of engines down right here. And it's going to be fun to see how fast this can go. But we will also have to place some fuel reserves uh, just so we can actually fit some fuel. But there we go. And then I don't think we can fit one there. But we have all these engines. My goodness. I don't even know how. Oh, there was. Oh, wait, let's press undo really quick. Okay, we're gonna try. We're gonna try it a bit better. So we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna place this like so, and then we're gonna go like this. That way, we can place as many as possible, I believe. There we go. And then maybe in these gaps, we can. Okay, those don't fit either. But let's go ahead and let's go up a deck. And we might have to get a bunch of fuel as well, like at least some fuel storage, because we're going to have so many engines. Um, there's no way we'll be able to keep up, but we'll get all those down. And then up here, I suppose we can get some fuel tanks. And there are two variants. We'll get this one, which holds actually. Yeah, this holds a bit more, especially it, uh, it does save some space. We'll leave the bridge open for now. And then we'll just place all of these across like so. It's going to be a nightmare to see how much all of this fuel will cost. But if we go up a deck, we do have some more open space. So I figure we can go ahead and do this really quickly. Like so. And then if we go over here, we can place down. Oh, we could also do uh, solar panels for a video. Well, I think I've done a boat with all solar panels, but it didn't really work out too well. But let's get some more generators up here. Like so. There we go. And then we actually we have some space up here. So let's go ahead and do the same. And that, what I'm counting on is at the end of the video, I hope I can press undo. And that way I don't lose a bunch of money on all these things. But maybe even if I sell them, I'll still make some money back. But now we're ready. Let's go ahead and press uh, exit from edit mode. Let's do dock. There we go. And then we're going to do manage and um, crew. I'm not going to even bother with the crew. It's going to completely tank my ratings probably. But I mean, there's a few rooms. I mean, we're going to have... 54 passengers so now let's go ahead actually uh before we actually drive our ship let's go to the bridge if we i think we can access it i don't know for i don't even think we can let's see look at all these engines this is only on the top deck i know there's a lot of space still open but i'm pretty certain we can't even yeah we can't even get down there i wanted to just for the immersion but we can go ahead and we'll start off by standing at the uh, bow of the ship and t uh setting sail it will be really interesting to see what the top speed is because especially especially with such a large ship we won't be going that fast but as you can see the rating is already dipping but we're gonna go ahead full throttle speed is insane oh did, i didn't even i don't oh whoops 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 i don't even have fuel i was like how are we going this quickly but then i realized oh yeah i have nuclear reactors let's see can i we need to wait for that docking button to appear again. That's I forgot to refuel and fuel. That's what's going to cost a lot. I think that's going to maybe cost a million. That's what I'm guessing. Well, let's wait for the dock button to appear, and then we can go ahead and actually refuel the ship. Any second now. There we go. Let's dock. Manage. Um, let's see. Ships. No. Uh, supplies. There we go. Fuel. Oh, that's not bad. It's only a quarter or um, a third of a million dollars. Only 300,000. That's good. Okay. 
So now, well, actually, what else is this? Supply. Oh, yeah, we need supplies. There we go. Okay. So now we actually set out on our voyage. So let's go ahead, full throttle, and let's see how fast we go. Okay. 30, 40, 50 knots, 52, 53. Yeah, we're sitting at 53. Oh, my goodness. This is fast. This is really fast. But you know what we can do? We actually have to figure out which way we're going. I think we're going to just go. Oh, my goodness. Goodness, this is fast. Okay, um, we have to turn a little. Just so we don't collide into anything, but look at this! We're going 53 knots on a cruise ship. I don't even think in the real world you can go that fast. I think maybe 20 knots is the top speed. But I think what we're gonna do is we have plenty of fuel, so we're just gonna go... We're gonna go to this place here, uh, Placeholder Island. These islands really need names, so I hope the developer can sometime do that. We're going to go to this island over here. We're going to stop turning. Maybe it can straighten out or something. Oh my goodness. It's so hard to control the ship. Because you try to balance out the turns, but you can't really do that. So let's hop into edit mode again. Um, let's go up a deck. And I know I could always remove the passengers, but I mean, I like them because free money. Even though I'm spending so much on fuel. Let's go ahead. We're going to do... What else? What else? is? Oh, let's go to power. I need to make sure we don't sail past the island, but at the same time, I can't see the map. So let's get some more generators down. Yay! So let's go like this. I don't know, a lot of these won't be able to get placed. We can place those like that. Okay, and then maybe some like this. And then one there. Okay, just filling in these little gaps here and there. And then over here... Oh, look at all this space. Oh, voila. Let's, let's see what our top speed is now. Drive ship. Our top speed is now 55. I'm trying to get up to 60. I think that'd be a cool achievement. But if we look at the map, we are already halfway to this island. And I can't even... It's so hard to control the ship. Because the turns are so, like, exaggerated with all these engines. Wow. I can't even imagine a ship where all of the decks are actually made out of... Or just full of engines. So we're headed straight for the island. Um, But before we do actually arrive, let's see if we can anymore i think we can actually possibly yeah we can possibly remove some of these fuel tanks but i mean we're going to keep them for now down here i mean there, there's not really any much more space we can probably fit some down here i'm going to try that really quickly i know there's this area maybe and we can go like this okay we got some engines there let's put some along here there we go oh my gosh look how fast this is this is just crazy Okay, we'll put some here. There we go. I can't put there any there. Uh, I know that's not really efficient placing either. But in the next video, we'll probably fill up the entire ship. Did we go past the... Okay, we're about to arrive there. But we'll probably fill up the entire ship. And I mean the entire ship with these engines. And then I'll even get rid of the nuclear reactors, everything. And then we'll actually get, uh, be able to go pretty fast. But we are fast approaching this island. Um. Wow. I can't... Okay, I want to try to prepare, but like the, this is like the most difficult thing to control. Um, oh goodness, and it's a bit laggy. I'd say. Let's see. Can I even throttle down? There's probably um. I mean, the ships are th it, it throttles down quite quickly. I'd think it'd take a bit longer because momentum. But I mean, I mean that's good. We're able to dock. So let's dock because every time we dock, we can like unload passengers, pick up supplies, fuel, etc. Uh, but let's also strafe. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Okay. So let's keep strafing. And then we'll eventually be able to dock. Maybe. Dock. There we go. We have to click the button before we go past. And let's go ahead and then we can... I mean, do we really need more fuel? I don't think so. I think we can go to this island down here. We're going to do like a tour around the world. I don't know how far we can go. But before we actually continue on... I want to see. I mean, our, what? our rating actually went up. I, I don't understand why, but our rating has actually gone up for the entirety of our ship line. Maybe it's speed. That's what they're happy about. I don't know. Uh, but if we go down here, we have all these nuclear reactors, and I think they each give us a total of 25 speed. Um, So maybe we can even do a nuclear reactor ship. It just costs a lot. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to... Uh, oh, actually, edit mode. Oh, let's go back into edit mode. There's some space down here. We can put some generators. Let's tr let's do that really quickly. And oh goodness, th that bugs backwards, like not detecting the clicks properly. Well, let's slide these all the way down here. 
like so. Hopefully this doesn't cause any problems with like NPC pathfinding. Um, but let's go ahead, undock, and insane speed go. So let's see, can we hit 60? That's my goal. 57, 58, okay, we're at 58. Let's go ahead and turn really quickly. Where are we? Okay, there we are. That's our little ship. And I could have refueled on fuel, but we're going to go ahead and see if we can actually make it to this island down here. And if not, we can always call it tugboat. But we're at almost, fi yeah, we're at 59. So I think we just need a few more engines. Oh, we can get rid of those smokestacks. That's right, because they're just purely decorative. So let's do that. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's go up a deck. And I, another question I'm wondering, which we can, I, I guess we can figure out, is if we sell those, uh, I keep exiting on accident. Let's actually open the chat up. We do have a few fans in here. Uh, we have MBB, Amnichi, and then Whole Corner. Uh, <laughs> uh, but let's go ahead. Build. So that's 10,000. If we actually press remove, do we get 10,000 back? Oh, we do. Oh, that's great. That's what I love about this game, I guess. So that's like, I can spend as much money as I want to, and I can still get money back. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Okay. So if we go down here, let's just get rid of these stairs. I don't need them. This I can get rid of. Done. Now let's get some floors. I mean, like, I guess we'll get some rubber floors. We'll put this here. And then we'll do power generators. And let's get some more generators down. Why not? There we go. And then we'll go like this. Uh-huh. There we go. Maybe we'll hit 60 soon. Let's go down a deck. Is there more space? I think this deck is completely full. I mean, we can actually put some right here. And then... Uh, okay. We can put some more like that. There we go. We got another one. And I think this deck is complete. Yeah, this is all... Oh, wait. I can put some here. Aha. So the fact that I can actually get some money back is just further motivating me to uh, place more engines because money doesn't really matter at this point. So let's go ahead and get two more right here. Oh, those don't fit. Oh, well. And the fuel is just depleting so quickly. My goodness. But I think we'll be able to make it just considering how fast we are going at the moment. But let's go ahead and place those there. And then I don't think we... Yeah, we can't fit any there. Go down a deck. We can actually... Probably place some like this. Not maybe. I don't know. Let's see. We can place one there. And okay, that's good. That's good for now. If we go down another deck. And by the way, this is the biggest ship in the game. So, I mean, too bad. We, we won't really be able to place any more. But if we look at the map, we are fast approaching. I'm prob I'm betting we did hit 60. Oh, yeah. 61 knots. Maybe 62. I don't know. We're, we're almost there. I bet when we start turning, we'll be able to actually hit that. But we're going to go ahead and start turning anyways, just so we can get to the dock, because we are a bit off, as you can see in the map. Um, I might play later. But look at our fuel. I mean, it, it cost us 300,000, but it'll be interesting to see... Oh, goodness, we're turning too much. Uh, but it'll definitely be interesting to see how much we actually profit, considering we spent 300,000 on... Oh, here we go. The SS default name. We only made 172,000. So, I mean, I guess some of that could be due to the ship just setting sail today, um, which might be why we didn't really get that much money. I mean, we made 172,000, which is probably, um, that's pretty decent. That's probably a third of what we spent because we also did buy supplies. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to strike to the right. We're also going to speed up just a notch. Going up one little notch on this control thing, we are still going so fast. Look at this! Look at this acceleration! Ah, okay, let's see if we can dock. Hopefully we don't miss the button. I'm just spam clicking. There we go, dock. And then, now we need to refuel on fuel. 129,000 supplies, we have plenty. So let's go ahead and undock and speed off to our next destination. And as I'm looking at the map, I've been realizing our ship down here is turning way too much. I'm going to close this just for the sake of immersion. But I, th I believe this is one of my ships here. I don't know what this one's doing. I think they're trying to like board or something. I don't know. But we have one of our ships here, I believe. We have our Titanic over here. And what I'm trying to see is, can we actually lap our ship? Oh, well, not lap, but pass by it. Even though these, I think these are both, yeah, this is an albatross. That's the Titanic. And then we also have this albatross here, which is actually catching up to this one. I think this one is going like maybe 20 knots. Uh, but I do have to upgrade my ships, all, all two of them, eventually to nuclear power just because I haven't really, it's it, it's a relatively new addition to the game, but at the same time, this game has not been updated in such a long time that it's not really that new. But we're going to keep setting forward 61.9 knots. We can't hit 62. I mean, if we had one more engine, we probably could. I could probably squeeze one in. 
probably in the bridge, but at the same time, I, I want to keep the bridge empty. So that's pretty awesome. So I, I do want to zoom out of the map. I want to see. It'd be so funny to actually pass by my ship. It, it's, I, I can't wait. And here we have a nice shot of the sunrise. We're passing by some random ship in the middle of nowhere, but it's just so fast. Look at this. I mean, when you look at this, it's not very fast, but if you look at that ship, we're passing by so quickly. Oh, it is my ship. We're passing by my ship. No way. We're also going to hit my ship on accident. Oh, well, I'm going to close this chat really quickly. Uh, drive ship, turn a little. Turn, turn, turn. There we go. Okay, we're good. Look at this. Drive ship, close out of that. Our ship is so fast. We're literally overpowering my other one. It looks empty, but it really isn't. Um, but holy cow. Look at all these engines. We are so fast. <laughs> That's just insane. That is really insane. We just completely lapped our ship. And I can probably show you guys what all of my other ships do look like uh, later on. And then even in the next video, we're probably going to get rid of all of the passengers and just have straight engines, nothing more. Because I think that'd be an interesting experiment. See how fast we can go with that. And then we can even go and try out some nuclear power and even batteries. I know solar panels won't be... Uh, self-sufficient but we can see if we can well i don't even know if, i don't think batteries would be worth it though for a video so we could probably do nuclear reactors for a video and then all engines for another video but let's go ahead we're going to stop our ship and we're going to start strafing to the right and then we're going to turn a little maybe maybe a little there we go and then there's my ship we just left it in the dust well i, I mean that's like the fog but still um it's still pretty funny uh yes there we go and keep strafing we do need to turn a little Let's keep strafing as we do so. Look at all these engines. I wonder how many. I'm, I'm just assuming we have a probably over or around 100, I'd say. Not too certain, though. It's, it's still so crazy how fast we can go with all these engines. But the great thing is I'm not losing any money other than buying fuel. So we're going to go ahead and manage and passengers, unload passengers. And we only made 108,000 from that trip. But if we look here... um. When you do travel more um, miles in a day, you do make a lot more money. So you do get that multiplier. And we did travel 3.91 nautical miles. So we did get a times 307% um, increase to the base fare. And then it was only not even a whole day. It was only half a day. So that did decrease our fare by um, about almost half. And then there comes our other ship, which is trailing behind. Uh, but... If we would have gone a whole day, we probably would have had um, at least another 50,000, and then it would have probably been multiplied by at least 700%. So that would have been really nice. I think we could have at least profited off of the ship if we actually spent enough time running it. But we're going to go ahead and end today's video here. I do owe a shout out to all of my Discord server boosters, but also consider subscribing to the channel because we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. And I do want to keep doing fun experiments like this. And if you ever want to be in a video, you can always join me at Bunny Films one But here are the shout outs to all of my uh, server boosters and channel members. You can also join the server at discord.gg slash bunnyfilms. But a shout out goes out to Nago Films, The ISS, Lystrosaur, One Mangry Gamer, YT, Matthew1164, Nayday, Syrup, Epic Nation HD, Messiah Johnson, RLFX Red Dot, Duckle Not Found, Six Picks, Aussie uh, Patriot, Big Blocks Dad, Billy Bob, Brady Gamer1100, Dexter Cly, DQ3W5, El Taco, Finbar, Frederick Munster, Ham, Islands, H Wipe Hype, Yorn, Mr. OK, Reed, Russell, Sir Gilberto, Surf, Little Guy's Owner, and the Canadian Duck. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you have a fantastic game. A link to this game will be in the description below. It is free to play. I forgot to mention that earlier. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.